give you a quick update here. Um, I've been collaborating with a fellow builder uh, who, his name is Bobo, goes by Bobo. He's in the same basically uh, stage I am. Uh, he's working on the tail kit and we both had some questions and issues uh, regarding uh, the blueprint and uh, yeah, trying to interpret the blueprints properly. Anyway, I'll try and keep this very short. Um, I'm still working on this replica of the rudder and I've made quite a few more cuts um, and I'm still not happy with those so I'm, I'm probably going to look at other ways to cut it. Uh, I'm going to buy a very nice nibbler that will fit and make some of these internal cuts like this one here. Um, but anyway, uh, also a couple of things. Uh, it turns out Bobo pointed out I was reading the blueprints wrong. Uh, this right here is the control horn assembly. And it, it looked to me like I was supposed to make this cut uh, just only in the side like that. But it turns out it should come all the way back around to the back where the red is. This is the control horn assembly right here, which is this piece there and that will fit inside and these horns will come out of the slots on each side so still working with that but i'm getting i got fairly tired of working with that and so i'm working on it i'm um, in a little bit of a stop place here so i started working on the rudder raiders and i'm going to put this here hopefully you'll be able to see it and these are the rudder baiters. And if you can envision, this would be like this. And the control horns here is what connects up and they drive the rudder baiters. And it's a V-tail, or Y-tail actually, so kind of would be like this only, obviously that's angled. So I have the control horn it's not riveted or anything, I just put it in there and that was extremely difficult because the flanges, if you can imagine like on this one, the flanges right here were not, they were bent outwards and it was really difficult to insert the control horn assembly with this rib and the flanges inside the rudder baiter. Uh, so I had to wind up bending the flanges on the rib here on those really far in to get it to fit and I did not like to do that and it's still extremely tight um, but anyway that is where we are where I am uh, hopefully Bobo is further along I think he is but um, that's where it is right now so uh, with that more to come I realized I didn't give you a very good uh, view of the um, control horn assembly with the rib uh, attached here. Um, so I'm just showing you this. Now this one is not inserted all the way, it's out. In fact, I told you it was tight. It's so tight that it actually pushed itself out. Uh, not all that way, but I, anyway, it's out just a little bit um, now. And so over here, this one has not pushed out, but that's what it's supposed to look like uh, once it's all done. And of course it's gonna be riveted and get rid of the Clecos, but wanted to give you a a little more close-up shot of that.